I'm Jackie, on the road again with 360 Alberta, and if you are looking for one of those communities that has it all, you need to head to Camrose. Stopped in at a little floral shop and a little clothing shopping. Just as flowers, a little plant shop, and espresso drink. There's a story, my uncle roasts my coffee organically, so I love coffee, and I just thought it was kind of fun to have a coffee while you wait for your flowers. I've been in flowers a long time, I guess. I was managing a flower department, you could call it. And I just decided to go out on my own because I love beautiful things. Uh, when did you open Nest? I opened in August last year. Oh, well, just before In the it, middle of COVID. I didn't have a job. Okay. I had nothing. So I decided to make my own. How did you get the word out that in the middle of COVID you're opening a business? <laughs> you know, Facebook, Instagram, the camera's morning news, the booster. That's about it. And of course I made a website. So what kinds of arrangements do you specialize in? I, special in I specialize in unique arrangements. Right. Different. You, wildflowers? Wildflower look, lots of eucalyptus. Okay. What's your favorite flower yourself? Uh, a garden rose. My roses are um, the type of rose that opens right up and shows you the inside of their heart rose type of so you're particular to choose those kinds? I choose my roses because of their, that quality, I guess you could say. And certainly the coloring too. Yeah, the coloring too. Uh, the Trinity Walrus is a really groovy little boutique located in Camrose, Alberta, just one block off of Main Street uh, in our historical district. Um, we are men's and women's clothing. We sell sizes extra small to 3X. And uh, we do have some big and tall for men's as well, but it's just really cool, groovy stuff. We opened in 2018 uh, on Main Street, Camrose. Uh, it had a big store and we just moved a block off uh, of two months ago. So uh, I, I had a, a history of retail management back in my university days. And so fashion's always been one of my favorite things. I then ventured off to do uh, 20, five-ish years of, uh, of uh, uh, not-for-profit work um, uh, for at-risk youth and esteem building and that sort of thing. So the tie-in with uh, positive esteem and um, body image and whatnot were really a, a good fit to go back into retail. We have been fortunate enough to open uh, a, a consignment, uh, a little uh, consignment capsule at um, B and Key Boutique in Leduc. And uh, that's uh, been a super fun collaboration with their stylist as well. Um, we are going to be doing a, uh, another uh, collaboration uh, in Lacombe and it's sort of like still not fully uh, public so we'll keep that uh, a little bit under wraps but that's going to be more of a, of a, of a collective uh, situation that we just get to be part of. So yeah, we're looking for opportunities to do lots of pop-up shops in smaller, smaller, more rural communities where there is no fashion, we'll bring the fashion to them. And we're just, yeah, we're just looking for ways to be creative and branch out. We are proud to uh, sell Levi's, uh, Tentry, Dex Clothing Canada. Um, we sell Obey Clothing. We sell anything cool. We sell it. We sell um, some higher end men's lines like 34 Heritage, uh, some great um, German and Danish lines for men that are of our more Scandinavian heritage fit. Uh, yeah, and we really make an effort to um, sell as many B corporations as possible and by B corporations uh, that means that they have to have rigorous certification as the ongoing uh, to make sure that they are um, that they are meeting standards that their board of directors is putting uh, environment and ethics in front of in front of profitability so we're uh, yeah we're very very proud of that COVID techniques for the trendy walrus uh, first off, we downsized. We decided to uh, grow our empire uh, by shrinking our empire physically, geographically, um, to uh, just lessen the need for staff, lessen the overhead. So we um, bought this amazing um, little uh, historical home and uh, our overhead was cut in half and I own, I'm proud to say I own the building and we've remained profitable through COVID this entire time with no rent relief or anything. So uh, very, very, very proud of that. We were very fortunate to have our website established just a month before COVID hit. So our online really took off uh, and then just, and just having, having a, an e-commerce uh, 
an e-commerce guru who knows how to make sure that we are at the head of search engine uh, optimizations and, and everything that people are finding us first uh, for the products that they're looking for online. I'm Jackie, on the road again with 360 Alberta. I look forward to seeing you out on the highways and byways, and who knows, maybe we'll meet up in Camrose.